And welcome back, this is Balascuba with more Let's Play Diablo 3. I'm joined as always by my barbarian, the Enchantress, and Zoltan Cool are actually with us. Uh, Zoltan Cool actually has some things to say, so we're going to start off by talking to him a little bit. What did you do to earn the hatred of the Haradrim? I bear the same scars they all did. They knew the truth of it. But the fools buried their heads in the sand. They thought the evils were sealed away, never to trouble us again. They needed a solution. They needed to end it all. Sounds pretty simple. What else do you have to say? Tell me about the soul stones. How did you learn of the soul stones? I spent many hours with them as we hunted the three. I studied them, intrigued by their power. In the long years after our victory, I felt an emptiness within me. A bitterness that consumed my days and nights. With a soul stone of my own, heaven and hell could be brought low. And humanity could rise, unchallenged. Unrestricted. Sounds kind of sketchy, actually. When we last left off, we were in the middle of resurrecting him. I have gotten one new piece of equipment that uh, that is these gauntlets, even though there's just one of them. 7% uh, magic find is really all that I'm looking for. If you're curious, you can look, open up the details tab and you can see how much total magic find you have. I have plus. 13 overall. Of course, that would be raised a lot should I be in a higher difficulty. Uh, we recently just got Covetous Shen to come with us. I will do this first one with him. Uh, we're going to go ahead and combine uh, gems. You can see he's already level 5. He's doing pretty good already. Uh, I'm, I need tones of jewel crafting, which I don't have. I think those are supposed to be on hell difficulty when I can start getting those, so I'm not even close to being able to get those. Uh, what I can do, though, is remove gems and combine gems, and that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Uh, we're going to remove everything that I have uh, in terms of socketing, uh, just get rid of them for now. Uh, we're not going to leave it like that, but in order to properly level things up, let's go ahead and take care of those right now. So, what you would normally need to do is um, train him using money, but I've already paid all the money. So, let's go ahead and craft all of these, getting two flaw. Uh, sorry, two, was it chipped? Two chipped amethyst gives me one flawed amethyst. And just keep on doing that. And we can do that with the emeralds and the rubies and the topazes as well. Now, unlike the blacksmith, Hadrig Eamon, Company Shen will actually not let us uh, upgrade our jewels past the point uh, that I would normally be able to do them at normal difficulty. That's kind of just how he works. At a certain point, I believe it is the perfects, uh, I will need something called a page of jewel crafting, and those don't drop until nightmare difficulty, so uh, these flawless are going to be the highest uh, ranking ones that I will be able to craft. I have looked up uh, roundabouts where the blacksmith would uh, stop, uh, stop being able to level up, get experience, I guess you could say, uh, when I would start needing Page of Blacksmithing, which also only drops in Nightmare Difficulty, and it looks like anything around uh, level 30 uh, is going to be my cap. Oh, shut up, I'm talking here. Okay, so now I have a few different levels of gems. As you can see, you're not really going to be able to get them all up at, uh, immediately. Let's just sort them out. Doesn't really matter what, which order I put them in. As long as I keep them in uh, order of, of how good they are, that, that's good enough for me. So, what I'm going to do is... You know what? 
for my character, I really don't need the experience now that I think about it because I'm already level 23 and we're still on Act 2 and having decided that uh, level 30 is going to be the max for me, I'm not going to put this on my helmet anymore to get more experience. You can see that uh, we get more experience the higher the, the level of the gem is. Same with everything else. You can see uh, the numbers here on the chip. Topaz are 2, 5, and 6. Should we go up to the next one? It's 3, 7, 10. So it's always better to upgrade them if you can. Here it's 3, 6, 10, 6, 7, 14. It always goes up. So we're going to put this on to my weapon. So we're at 74.47 DPS. Now we're 86.89. That is quite a substantial improvement. Uh, plus 6 minimum and maximum damage. And I'm going to go ahead and put this onto my helmet so that I can get more magic find. You saw before it was 13, now it is 20. So just a flat 7 across the board. Not, not too difficult when it comes to math. You don't have anything... No, you don't. Okay, just making sure that I don't have anything for her. Okay, that is it for the crafting With when it comes to the jewels. I'll take care of the rest of those off screen, just like I do with the blacksmithing. So, let's go ahead and continue where we last left off, which is the ancient path. We need to go kill things there. I must practice my spells lest they fail me in the heat of battle. Do they really sound so odd? Yes. That... You and I are the same. What? But those others... The fallen angel, the witch, they're using you for their own ends. You choose to be their puppet, yet the power of your birthright could make you a god. Striving for godhood got your head separated from your body, cool. There's no need to be snide. Soon enough, I'll walk this world again. Then I'll show you what a Nephilim can achieve. So once again, we are a Nephilim, which is a special type of human in the terminology that they seem to be using it right now. Doesn't seem to be the same to me as the ancient Nephilim, but I could be uh, misinterpreting that. That is always a possibility, but that's what it seems like to me. It seems like the Nephilim is, is not necessarily the ancient form, but pretty much a, a super-powered human being. Um, but. We'll probably go more into what that actually means later on, but I do have my questions about that. Uh, as we'll see, as we'll see. I'll, I'll go over that more later. Into the desolate sands we go. Up against the accursed, as I... My archives lie beneath this desert. Perhaps even beneath the sands we now tread upon. The as I laugh a little could bit. not destroy them. They could only lock the door behind them. And I still have the keys. Of course you have the keys. Of course you do. So, yeah, I don't know what's with the lag here. I doubt it's me. You know, that's the, that's the bad thing about the always online DRM is, is that if there's a little bit of lag, it's damn near impossible to say if it's you or if it's the Blizzard servers, the Battle.net servers. And already we have a dungeon for us to go to as we take on the swarm. <laughs> no, I hate the swarm. It's always evil. Ah, crap, we got the freaking suicidal mother things. Desert Hornets. Ooh, a third eye. No, get, don't let those hit you. They hurt. None of those were new, really? They all looked new to me, but I get, apparently they were all reskins. Into the vile cavern we go. Yeah. Apparently she hit something. Oh, we have slime spewers. I um, think we have taken those on before. It has been a while since I recorded. I don't know if you guys can get tell, but... Oh! A over there. Oh no, another wall. Oh, what am I doing? I need this on at all times. I forgot I had that still. Not really. That was pretty easy. Damn it! Don't hit me. Don't hit me at all. Uh, she not? What level? Uh, she's level 22. So we're still away from getting the next skill for her. But once we do, it should be pretty good. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I remember that her later skills are definitely better than her. Uh, 
lesser, lower level skills, I guess I, could, I should say. Uh, as far as I remember, there was nothing special in these parts, no events or anything like that. But I don't have all the em events memorized, so it's very possible that I could be wrong about that. I definitely know there's none of those uh, items that, we, that I have been grabbing. That is for sure. Um, almost have that completed, by the way. Uh, just trying to get to the point where I can get the last item that I'm looking for. And then I will probably go my first time uh, into the bonus dungeon, uh, which, which that opens up, which is what we are going for with that. With you guys, because I, I've, I've seen it, but I've never been there. So I'll be a little confused as to what goes on and we can get the achievement and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it is a lot of work to get that. Nice. She killed four with one blow. She's starting to do better. She is doing better all by herself. Go Enchantress, which I will always call you because I don't remember your real name. I tend to do that because they don't they don't tell you. <laughs> if they are going to call her Enchantress the whole time in that little thing up there, then that's probably what I'm going to remember you for. Just Enchantress. Now these egg sacks, they will hold stuff, and I think the other things will hold stuff too. These things, whatever they are, that keeps on poisoning me as I step on them. I believe those will hold things too. Larva sacks. They could be wrong. They could, they could not hold anything, and they're just there to be traps. That's entirely possible. Where the hell did you come out from? Damn it! I wish these worms were made of spice. Why aren't they made of the spice? Uh, whatever. Sp Spice rules the world and universe. I haven't read Dune. I'm working on it. I have it, though. It's thick as hell. It's on my list. <laughs> I have a list for everything, I swear. Almost all of it is in my head, though. Oh, uh, before I do forget, I did want to talk a little bit about BlizzCon because uh, it is here once again. There is a pretty good chance that I'll be there. I'll, I'll put it at around an 80 to 90 percent chance that I will be there. 85 probably a good number for that. That I will show up to BlizzCon. Uh, if I don't show up for BlizzCon, I live here. You know what I mean? I'm already here, technically. So, if you guys are going to BlizzCon and you would like to meet me for whatever reason, uh, well, not for whatever reason. There are a few reasons that are off the table. But should you guys want to meet me, uh, let me know. We can try to set, set something up. Uh, maybe we can hang out inside BlizzCon. Maybe we can hang out outside BlizzCon. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I will try to remember to post a video uh, before BlizzCon. It is, you know, in about seven, eight months still. I'll try to post a video reminding you guys, hey, I'll be there if you guys want to go, but if um, if you guys are planning on going, I will be there. Uh, I haven't really talked to m most people about it, um, about whether or not they're, they're really planning on going or not. Uh, Buttercrust is, is, is iffy on it. Um, he's got a little disillusioned with uh, with WoW, because WoW's kind of his, his big thing, but We'll see. We'll see what, what he decides. We, we, he's still got a lot of time to think about it, of course. And he's going to take that time and, and think about it. Uh, so we'll see. But once again, if you guys want to hang out, you know, I will be there. Uh, they have announced one thing that will be at BlizzCon, even though they haven't technically said it'll be at BlizzCon. We all know it will be at BlizzCon. And that is that... Uh, Diablo 3 is going to be ported to the PlayStation 4. I really don't know what to think of that. Uh, it is not the first time that the Diablo Do games... Land really dress in that manner? Really? Yes. Why wouldn't they? Oh, I was merely curious. It is not the first Diablo game that has been ported to a PlayStation. Diablo 1 is actually on the PlayStation 1, and... I would not recommend you play it on the PlayStation 1. Please, please, please get a uh, PC copy of the game. It, mm, I've tried playing it. it. It's not nearly as fun playing it on a PlayStation. Valor inspired me. I bet it did. My two swings greatly inspired her. It is not nearly as fun to play 
uh, the original Diablo, at least, on a console as compared to on the PC. I would imagine that there are definitely some classes that would not work as well on the PlayStation as they would on PC. For instance, any caster class. The Barbarian? Yeah, you could run up and it would become similar to a fighting game that for is a you. Powerful foe over there. Not really. But if you're something like a caster, and this is something that they actually talked about at the last BlizzCon. This was not a surprise to me when they announced that uh, Bli that Diablo 3 was going to be on the PlayStation 4. I was I was not surprised at all. This was something that was brought up at the last BlizzCon. They were they actually uh, asked the audience, you know, if you are. Uh, a console programmer, please sign up on our website. We're looking to port it. Yeah, this was not a surprise to me when they announced this. But if you are a caster, and this is the problem that they said they were going to have, uh, it is going to be difficult on a PlayStation system, on, on a controller, to focus or aim spells, right? If, let's say, I want to do a spell over here, I have to... For PC, it's real easy. I, you know, I hit a button, and then I click over there, and then it does the spell over there. For a console, it's going to have to work differently. Now, maybe it would work better, honestly, on a Wii than it would on the PlayStation, because you could just point at it. But I know the pointer isn't... I don't have a Wii, but I have used a Wii, and the pointer is not that great. It's not very accurate, so... I'd assume that they'd be using maybe the right analog stick to for a target or something like that. But I would still say, as a general rule, having not seen any footage of Diablo 3 on the PlayStation 4, or really any footage of the PlayStation 4 that really impressed me, uh, th to stick with the PC version of the game, just as a general rule. That'd be my recommendation, but once again, they ha they've they only announced that it is going to happen. <laughs> so, take it for what it's worth. Take it with a grain of salt, whatever phrase you would like me to use. Damn, we're getting a lot of stuff. I will take it. And this, that once again, in this game you want to pick up all, all jewels, all gems. They're all good, and you can level them up as you go. Yes, pick that up, what is your problem? So, once again, that is one thing that is going to be at BlizzCon, because if I remember right, the the launch date for the PlayStation 4 was either, was the holiday season this year, which means that it will be, you know, pretty, either, either the same time as or shortly after BlizzCon, so... I have to assume that Diablo 3 on the PlayStation 4 is going to be there at BlizzCon. It's it's just basic common sense there. As for what else is going to be there, really I have no idea, just guesses. And that's really all I can do is throw guesses out there. Possibly a beta for the new StarCraft 2 expansion. Possibly a beta for... A Diablo 3 expansion. Po well, StarCraft 2, they've already announced what it's going to be. It's called Legacy of the Void. Possibly that will be there. Possibly an expansion for Diablo 3. I can't see them not doing the expansion for this. After all, it is the third best selling PC game of all time. Even if it got a lot of negative reviews online and all that kind of stuff. It is still a very good game. I wouldn't say, well, you know, I like it. I like it. And I would imagine that they're going to try to capitalize on having sold a great number of games that they're going to try to say, hey, for another $30 you can do this and we've added this and, and maybe a new character for, or a class for you to play. Obviously a new act would be in order. Uh, we'll see what could possibly happen, and my theories on that when we are done with the story, uh, where they could take it, because I think there are just a few possibilities, which is why I say that there's probably not going to be a fourth game in the series, this is probably going to be a trilogy, but I still think that there's room for an expansion, just not a whole another game. So there could be an expansion to this at BlizzCon, uh, Legacy of the Void is probably going to be there, WoW 
could have a beta for a new expansion. Uh, Buttercrust said he doesn't want that though. He thinks it's it's still too soon, but that's possible. We are looking, you know, seven eight months down the line, um, or there's definitely going to be WoW there. And then they have been talking about a new MMO for quite some time. It's I guess codenamed Titan. And every year there's rumors that there's going to be a beta there for you to play. Um, I can wait no longer. But there rarely, there, there never has been. So the rumor's there, but once again, I, I, I probably not. They've been working on that for a long time, though. A couple years now.